Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we got one for the beginners. We're going to talk about why you might not be able to sort or filter based on a specific field in your Microsoft Access Forms. I get this one all the time. I made a form, whether it's a single form or a continuous form, and I got a calculated field on it. I want to be able to sort based on that field or filter based on it, but I right click, the menu doesn't show those options. What's the problem? We're going to talk about that today. Today's question comes from Dominic in Minneapolis, Minnesota, one of my platinum members. Dominic says, I run a trophy engraving business and keep all the text in an access database. I want to make a field that shows how long each engraving message is so I can flag the ones that are too long to fit on a plate but I can't seem to sort or filter the list by that number. And Dominic sent me some images of his database, which I'm not gonna share because he asked me not to, but I'm gonna show you what he did and then I'm gonna show you how to fix it. But before we get started, a couple prerequisites. Obviously, if you haven't watched my Access Beginner 1 class, go watch it, it's free, it's on my YouTube channel, it's on my website, it'll teach you all the basics. Today we're going to be working with a continuous form. That's a form where you've got a bunch of records on the screen at the same time, as opposed to a single form, which only has one record. You should know how to create calculated fields in forms and queries. Go watch this video if you don't. And today we're gonna to be using the length function, which is how you figure out how long a particular string is. And if you're not familiar with that, go watch my string functions video. Again, these are all free. They're on my YouTube channel, they're on my website. Go watch them and then come on back. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want. And in this database, we've got a customer list form that is a continuous form that has all my customers in it. Now, what Dominic wants to do is take one of these fields. For him, it's an engravement uh, text, right? What's going on the trophy. And he wants to see how long it is right here. So he created a calculated field in the form. I'm just gonna get rid of these other guys here. Let me just delete these ones here. Select and delete. We're going to call this one here the length. Okay, how long? Let's do last name. So let me get rid of that sum calculation there too. So let's open up this guy here, right? It's currently bound to the state field. So we're going to change that. I'm going to call this here. Let's call this len last name, just like that. Here, I'll zoom in so you can see it better. Shift F2. Whoop, that got really big. Let me bring it down here. All right, len last name is the name of the field. That's the name of this box now. And I don't want to bind it to state anymore. I want to bind it equal to the length using the length function of last name, like that. Okay, and again, I'll zoom in so you can see that better. Oops, someone's beaming in. All right, there it is. Length, last name. Access is being helpful by putting those brackets around it, but you don't really need those. It's not going to hurt anything, but since I don't have spaces in my field names, I don't need those brackets, but Access puts them on there anyways. You can ignore them. Okay, all right, save that, close it, close it, open it, and there we go. There's the length of that last name field, and that's perfect. Now, here's the problem, though. You want to see the big ones up top, right? Right click, eh, eh, what's going on here? Why can't I, I don't get the filter sort. If I click here, right click, oh, there's the sort, right? Sort A to Z, right click, sort Z to A, I got all my filters, but right here, I'm not getting them. Why don't I get them for the length? Well, the problem is when you calculate a value directly in a form control, like we just did, Access only knows that value for the one record currently being displayed. So each, you know, each record that you're on, it knows that value, but it doesn't know the rest of them because that value doesn't exist in the form's record set. What's a record set? The record set is the set of records underneath the form. In this case, it's all of the records from the customer table. But you can have different record sets, for example, ones that are based on queries. And the query can do extra things. It can sort the record set, it can filter the record set, it can do calculated values for the record set. So sorting and filtering only work on fields that come from the form's underlying data source, the record set, the table or query directly. Once you move that calculation into the record set, then Access can evaluate it for all of the records and sorting and filtering will then work. So the solution is we need to make a query. So create query design. We're gonna bring in the customer table. Where are you right there? Customer table. All right, I usually shut this thing off. 
Okay, bring in the fields that you want for your form. We need customer ID, first name and last name. And now we're gonna make that calculated value over here. I'm gonna zoom in again so you can see it better. Shift F2. All right, we're gonna call it Len last name colon, right? Calculated field is a colon, the length of last name, which is basically what we had in that form field, but now we're creating a calculated field in the query for it. Okay, run it real quick and you'll see you got the same results. Okay, let's save it. Let's call it customer uh, list queue. I don't think we have that already, right? Because we're going to use this for the customer list form. So customer list queue. Now what we have to do is go to the customer list form. The first thing we have to do is now we have to bind this form to that query. Because right now, if you open up the forms properties by double clicking right there in that little box, if you go to the record source, it's customer T. So it's still getting its data from the table. We're gonna change this now to that customer list queue that we just made. Okay, so now it's getting its data from the query, but we also have to change this guy because we no longer are going to put the calculation in here, delete that. But now we can drop this down and pick from the Len last name field that we created in the query. See, this has just got a list of fields in that query. Okay, all right, now save it, close it, open it, looks exactly the same, but watch this, right click, ah, there we go, look at that. Sort largest to smallest, there's the big ones on top. You can right click and filter equals seven, see? Because now the underlying record set has that field in it, has that data in it, so the form can see all of them, not just the one that you're on. Okay, the form's not doing the work, the query's doing the work. And that, my friends, is how you fix that problem. Now, this is just one reason that you might have problems that you, where you might not be able to filter and sort based on a calculated value in a form. There's a bunch more. I might cover them in other videos, but this is 90% of the time when someone says, hey, I got a form and I can't sort, I can't filter. That's why, because you got a calculated value in the form. You just simply need to move that to an underlying query, okay? And we don't store calculations in our tables, right? Even though you can, you shouldn't. 99% of the time, you shouldn't. There's, a, there's some reasons why you might want to, but that's a lot more advanced, okay? Okay. And so there you go. There is your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button right now and give me a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. And make sure you click that bell icon and select all to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Do you need help with your Microsoft Access project? Whether you need a tutor, a consultant, or a developer to build something for you, check out my Access Developer Network. It's a directory I put together personally of Access experts who can help with your project. Visit my website to learn more. Any links or other resources that I mentioned in the video can be found in the description text below the video. Just click on that show more link right there. YouTube's pretty good about hiding that, but it's there. Just look for it. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, tables, all that stuff. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. That's it. And it's free for members of my YouTube channel at any level. Speaking of memberships, if you're interested in joining my channel, you get all kinds of awesome perks. Silver members get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, and there's hundreds of them by now. They also get one free beginner class each month, and yes, those are from my full courses. Gold members get the previous perks, plus access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos. Plus, you get access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions and all kinds of source code that I use. And gold members get one free expert class every month after completing the beginner series. Platinum members get all of the previous perks, plus they get all of my beginner courses, all of them from every subject. And you get one free advanced or developer class every month after finishing the expert series. 
And you can become a Diamond sponsor and have your name listed on the sponsor page on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time.